nous avons dit que 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 nous avons Today, I'm Jaquette Soluani Setro, and it's a pleasure having you around the set as well. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing. If you've not done that, please do. And thanks to all that have been helping us on all our platforms. So, you're welcome. Today, we're going to be discussing the updates on some of the youths of Africa that we're trying to empower, those who've empowered their progress reports. And it's really, really captivating. We're, in, we're, we're so happy seeing these youths move forward. Or what do you I will, feel? I will start with the story of this young boy that I happened to discover him right in the center of one of the largest slum, water slum in Africa, called the Makoko slum. Uh, his name is Yodon. He happened to be constructing uh, story buildings on top of the water in Makoko, and he has been there for, you know, he's been working endlessly. Uh, with uh, with his masters because the parents couldn't afford to pay for his freedom, otherwise called the graduation ceremony uh, fee. We got him there. We paid for his freedom uh, using our foundation as means to do that. We paid for his freedom. We also organized his graduation ceremony, which I believe you would have seen on this channel. We bought him startup equipment for his uh, furnishing. Uh, is a start off of the business uh, down to the generator and the like and we are so proud to tell you that presently our hotel just gave this young man the opportunity to help in construction of their structure this is it <music> That's what we're saying. Please, you have to reach out to these African youths. Enough of complaints. Uh, China is doing this. France is doing that. No, we Africans, what are we doing? So we should come forth and do it. And that's why we are much more on this channel about the doings. So as you've seen it right now, you could have an hotel in whatever country in Africa and just reach out to Central Foundation. I won't die your youth to do this. To construct this that's why we're training this youth so that the commerce across the african countries grows when our commerce grows our trade grows then we have favorable balance of trade you know i'm an economics we're there we're there we're there no one can can just take us on a ride again and you remember the fact that largest percentage of the african population belongs to the world the youth section and we have vibrant youth in Africa with talent, with skills and the like. It's not just about we training them. We also look for how they can be able to use this, monetizing their skills. And the way, one of the ways you can help us, maybe you are in the diaspora and the likes of them. And you want to set up a business center, you want to set up a company, you want to build uh, a mansion or what are you in Africa, you can reach out to us. Let these youth be the one to help you build such structures and by that, you are putting money into their hands so that they can stay off crime. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The number two African youth we're considering today is by name Koyumu. That's the African way, Koyumu. <laughs> so, this young African is an orphan. He has no father, no mother. He's 16 years old. My husband went to one of the remote villages in Africa, Nigeria, and discovered this young boy, Tatad. Just looking dejected, the grandma brought him and they said, What do you feel like learning? He said, He shared him with a funny chef for God. Would they first show you that? Well, who Do you know what he was saying? He said, I want to learn organizing and I want to make it greatly in this world. And if you train me, I will help other African youths. And that is it. We started, we paid for his training, and now. And presently, now the young boy has been doing fantastically well. The last thing we did for him, we discovered that his dressing was not in good turn, in good shape, and the way it looked. Uh, so we decided to send money down there for 
some person that are assisting us there to get him some clothes, some good clothes and some shoes, some cream and, you know, just fasten my tie so that I can continue to do this. And we are so happy today that we are seeing this young man in this fashion. Yes, and the surprising thing was even when we sent down that money, we now discovered that the guy has started making money himself. He could add to it. And this is our joy. Look at what he's doing now. Please, we are crying out that the way we can help these African youth is to patronize them. We have good dreams for them and it's to help patronize what they're doing. And presently, we are looking at him because it will soon be true with his trainees. Training is supposed to be uh, six months and it will soon be true with his training and we are working on how we can bring him from that village down to city centre in Lagos where a proper uh, vulcanizing shop can be set up for him so that he can now stand alone and become a very, very, very responsible young African youth. Okay, so that's just it and if you're there, the way to, to, to move this youth forward, remember that in moving the African youth forward, you're actually moving the continent of Africa forward. And so we don't depend on external grants or whatever. So patronize them. Call on us. Call on us. What are they doing? We have those in catering department, those in photography department to be seeing most of their work, videography department. We have those in the air styling. We have those in uh, upholstery. We have those in styling. We have those in fashion, different crafts. And in case you are based in Nigeria or you are visiting Nigeria, try to come along to our hub where we can offer some services in photography and videography because from these, this is where we also see the little uh, funds to add to whatever uh, we are being supported with to take care of this youth. So patronize us, patronize this youth, patronize what they are doing so that we can continue to sustain our travels into numerous uh, villages, into numerous uh, nooks and crannies where we can get this youth that are really, really passing through challenges. So That's just it today. Remember that whatever the situation is with you, it's at the end of the tunnel, there is always the light coming out to shine. So joy therapy is just the solution. Don't kill your joy. Your joy is your strength, is your life, and your life is your everything. So no matter what is happening around the world, just stay here. Stay here in Yoruba means open your teeth. You can never open your teeth and be angry. It is only do that smile, try, be angry, and open your teeth. Be angry and open your teeth. There is no way you can do the truth together. And that's why we are surprised that some persons, they are both the pretender and the cosseting at the same time. And like, you can't do the two together. You can only take one. <laughs> okay, that's just it today. So whatever you're going to reach out to us at the Cetros, we love you, we care about you. And till we come your way next time, we remain in the Cetros. You may like to watch this video of this. Ms. Katari, you may like to watch. You may like to watch this video of this. Thank you.